So I'm actually up here at the hospital today, which I guess is kind of a fitting environment for me to address Jared's question. He asks, what is the role of persecution or suffering in the life of a Christian? Now, I'm going to choose to focus on the suffering aspect rather than just the persecution aspect, not because I think it's something we need to ignore, but I think it's something that the suffering we can probably all relate to a little bit more. And yes, I also realize that there is a different type of suffering. There are those that are being persecuted or suffering for what is right, and then there are those that are suffering because of the wrongs that this world already has in it. And by that, some of that even winds up lying in our flesh, and it comes from the original fall of man. So I guess when I sit here and I think about suffering, one of the big reasons that, you know, suffering is really important for the Christian is that we actually are able to experience the comfort of our Father. We're able to experience him as our comforter and really helping us in those areas when we can't help ourselves. And then what we're able to do is we're able to share that same comfort with others. It's a pretty cool thing. So then this process of having God comfort us and then us taking that comfort and sharing it with others really knits us together as a body of believers. And that not only helps us comfort one another, but it also helps us bear one another burdens, which after all, that's what scripture commands us to do. So I guess I would say that is the role of persecution and suffering in the life of the believer. All right, everybody, so uh, finished up this vlog and uh, realized that because of being at the hospital, my head really wasn't all in the game. Uh, so actually, my uncle is up in the hospital. So if you guys would, please pray for him and for my mom, my whole family. So because of not really having my mind focused on the vlog as much as everything else that was going on, um, I, I forgot. I was supposed to ask a question today, so... Uh, Here's the question I have for each and every one of us that I want us all to answer. So, Jared, we're going to be answering this tomorrow on the vlog. If you could meet one person from the Bible and ask them one question, who would it be and what would the question be? All right, so I think I wrapped that up with a nice little bow on top and hopefully it all makes sense and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you didn't, well, I don't know what we're going to do about it. Not really worried about what we're going to do about it because you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. It's a new vlog. I'll be back here at 8 a.m. Make sure you go over and check out Jared's channel. He's going to be answering the same question that I did today over there. So that's all we got for you guys. I just want you all to stay blessed. Enjoy God's best. Have a fantastic day. So they're going to see like a window sill and they're going to see a wall and they're going to see me talking to some people. And so when they see me talking to people, they're going to think that I'm actually sitting in a hospital room right now. But I'm not sitting in a hospital room. You guys will know that I'm just sitting out here in the lobby. So when you see the vlog, you'll be like, wait, Dad made it look like he went into a room, but he didn't go into a room.